Hello and welcome to Googling Gaming. I'm your host, Shilando. Today we're playing a game called Track Day Manager. According to their Steam page, ready for something new, Track Day Manager introduces a new category of skill-based race car management in a multiplayer online environment. Yes, you heard me right. It's a MMO racing strategy simulation RPG. Yeah, and we're going to try that out. So go ahead and push play. Like, let, let me just specify, before you click away and, and cancel this video, uh, close this video, um, this is not a racing game. We're not going to be steering or accelerating or braking or anything like that. We're going to be playing this. This is early access, by the way, so this game is still very much in development over time. Uh, that is important for you to know. Uh, this is not a release state game. It's an alpha or beta state game. But this is this has all kinds of weird elements in it. And the best way to show you is just going to be to go ahead and start our batch. By the way, I got our, our trademark uh, Good Clean Gaming blue and yellow uh, on, the, on the car. I think it looks nice. So we're going to go ahead and just find a race, and then you'll understand better what in the world I'm talking about. So here's the sc first screen here. You'll notice we have three, two other players here, me and two other players. They've both played this this race before. I've also qualified on this race before because I've played it. Um, and last time I finished 113. Um, this is called Sunny Marina. We, we can choose, so you can see the race over here. You see the, the track and everything. Trophies, world records, the weather forecast. You can also see the starting tires. We're going to start with soft. Um, and we're going to hope that we make good decisions because I've made some pretty bad decisions in uh, previous playthroughs. Um, so, yeah, three other players. Now, it's going to fill in a bunch of AI cars. Oh, there's four other players. Um, no, sorry, three other players other than me, so four total players. It's going to fill in AI for any other spots that don't get filled by other players. So this is going to be a pretty cool little match. We have five people here. Um, so now we're just waiting for the game to fire off, really. <laughs> so soft versus hard tires, by the way. Soft, I believe, has better handling Hard has better acceleration and top speed. If I'm not mistaken, my car is really bad with handling, so I've been trying to do the soft tires. It seems like it's been better for us. Uh, okay, and now we're starting. Now you see, we're not going to be, like I said, we're not going to be accelerating or steering or any of that kind of stuff. We're actually going to be in the top-down view. Well, not top-down view. A, a third-person view. And we're going to be giving commands to our driver. So these are our little actions, our, our, our abilities, if you will. We got overtake left, overtake right. That's passing. We got overload, which is acceleration, telling them to accelerate, not accelerating. This is block, trying to prevent people from getting around. And this is tail. I like to use tail a lot because tail reduces your uh, overall gasoline uses. It's easier on your tires, I think. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Is it raining? It's not raining. It's just dark. Okay. I was like, I didn't see that in the weather forecast. If I saw that, I would use wet tires. I'm talking really, really fast about random things. We're currently in fourth place, by the way. Um, so if you look at the top, we have the uh, laps. It's one of eight laps. If you look at the bottom, we have the gas meter. We have the thermometer. So the thermometer basically says, um, this is your engine temperature. And if you're not careful, you, your engine can overheat. And if it overheats, then you'll stall out for a while. Also, if you run out of gas, you're out of the race. And if you blow your tires, see the tires are green right now. As they get worse, you'll have tr harder, harder time steering. And if you have harder time steering, then you're going to go slower and have trouble taking turns and whatnot. So, we're going to try about, about, um, right about lap three. So, I'm going to do a little overtake here and pass. We're after VT Racing. And he's going to not let me by, is he? There we go. Got it by him. Got by him. Oh, he's going to pass me now. We're neck and neck. Anyway, second lap. We're going to try to overtake him. Come on, overtake him. 308, 309. Yes, overtook him. We're battling for that position, man. I'm telling you. He really, want, he really wants to get around me. He's not going to let me go. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit on the accelerator a little bit. Actually, I'm going to just block because I'm way ahead of everybody and way behind everybody in front of me. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, yeah, uh, you have nitrous that gets refilled every every lap, so it's important that you use your nitrous each time you make a lap. Um, and that'll be a little energy meter down here. Um, and you have ECU. This uses up more fuel in exchange for more engine power. That's really useful if you've got plenty of fuel and you just need to eke out a little more performance before you pit. It's really good. Einhart looks like he's stalled out. Awesome. We'll pass him. Thank you very much. 
So we're putting the pedal to the metal here. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead on on lap three. In at the end of lap three, we're going to pit. Oh 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 no! I was talking too much. I stalled out. No. It's okay. Get back on the road. It's not the end of the world. I gotta block this guy. He's coming up fast. There we go. Got some speed from him ramming me. That's always important. Um, so if you want to see how other people are playing, you can actually click their names, and you can see what other what other cars are doing, and say, you know, well, what the leader's doing really good. What is he doing? And you can check out, you know, how much nitrous they have and. Um, uh, how, well, how their tires are looking, what what temperature they're racing at. Look at these. These guys are at 174. That's the tire temperature. I think the higher the tire temperature, the faster they wear out. So keeping your tire temperature low makes the tires last longer. Um, not exactly sure how to control that, to be perfectly honest. Um, so anyway, heading up on a straightaway up here, and we're going to use our, our, our nitrous. Right before we're gonna be uh, getting into the, we're gonna be getting into the pit up here. It's an early pit. I, 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 I it may be a horrible mistake, but I kind of don't want to be stuck out. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and pit. A lot of other people are pitting, so it's not, not unheard of. I'm pitting with others, and we, we can keep track of, of the leaders as we do this. So Phantom Motors is still. By the way, as you're, as you're pitting. You can hit go early if you want, I think, but if you do, you don't get all your stuff. So I'm just going to let them fill everything up, and then we're going to go. So there's Phantom Motors. Got in front of Raptor. Ha ha. There's Phantom Motors. He has 30% fuel left, 29. This is Frey. He has 30% fuel left. So they haven't they haven't pitted yet. Pitted? They haven't pitterated yet. Um... So let's go ahead and we're gonna try to pass as soon as humanly possible. Oh, wrong, wrong way, wrong way. Ah, oh, tried to pit, tried, tried to, I tried to pass on the wrong side again. It's really tough when you're spinning around on the over, on the overhead view. It's really tough to tell which side you're supposed to be using. So if you actually zoom all the way in, you can actually see on the, on the, on the racetrack, and this may be probably is going to be a lot more enjoyable for people who really like the racing feel and they want to see actually what's going on on the on the track you're probably going to want to use this view so we're right behind this guy let's see if we can pass on the right up ahead so pass on the right there we go 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 overtaking yes i'm going to zoom out again um let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like to uh, see the overhead view, to see the strategic view, or do you guys want to see more of the first person, what's happening in in the uh, in in the in the driver's seat kind of view? I, I'd like to know. So zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. I noticed that it seems to be getting later in the day, so I'm guessing that means that the tires are cooling off. I, I do notice that my tires are getting colder. Getting oh, Frey's gonna knock me off. Ah, oh, it's okay. I'm all right. At any rate, oh, oh, turn that off before I overheat. I feel like this is going fairly well. Okay, a lot of turns up here. I don't think it's really worth it to try to pass, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm an idiot. Yep. Pass on the inside. Yes. Oh, no. I always seem to prefer to pass on the inside. I don't know why. It just seems to make more sense to me. You're driving shorter distances to get further. That That's logical. I'm going to turn off my ECU because I have uh, burned through a lot of gasoline by having that on. Um, so we're doing good. We're on, we're on lap 5 of 8, and we're going to be on lap 6 of 8. Um, I probably want to pit in this lap as well because that's going to allow me to get better tires again so I'm going to go ahead and hit the pit button and next time I get around to there I'll pit um, 
We're in seventh. Seventh isn't bad considering we have no upgrades. We have just a basic stock newbie, stock newbie race car right now. So I feel good about that. I feel good about seventh. We're number seven. We're number seven. Come on, come on, chant with me, guys. We're number seven. Yeah. We are marginally better than number eight. We're marginally better than number eight. Yeah, it doesn't have the same feel to it, does it? Yeah, you're right. I'm going to use up all my nitrous on the straightaway up ahead. And hopefully that powers me towards the pit area, and I won't be too far behind everybody. Go ahead and hit that nitrous. Hit the accelerator. And then head into pit alley. What do they call it now? Pit? Pit something? Pit road? Pit something. We're gonna go pit. That there. That that's all I need to say. We're we're pitting. We're gonna go pit. We need pitifications. Okay. So I gotta move these guys out of the way. I don't need that guy anymore. So Phantom Motors has been doing really well. I'm very impressed. He's still got 48, 48 fuel. I don't know how how in the world his tires are gonna are gonna handle this though, because he's already got two bars on his on his tires. And to me, that means bad, because he's got two more, one more, oh no, two more laps to go. And he's not going to be able to hold on to the road very well. So he should start dropping down, I would expect. But he is so far ahead of everybody right now. Maybe they can't catch up to him. Let's use some of our nitrous there. We're going to have to start accelerating. See, I, if I were playing in a, if I were playing in the proper way, uh, it seems to work better if I always keep my my car going straight to the red 150 154 and then stopping the ability and then letting it get back down to 130 and then going back up to 150 and coming back down to 130 and just doing that over and over and over again seems to give me the best results look oh look looks like arc hazard uh, broke down a little bit nice turning on my ECU I'm leaving on ECU for the rest of the uh, rest of the race Hopefully that'll power us forward a little bit. I am shocked that no one's catching up to that uh, that Phantom guy. Okay, get around this corner, and then we're going to hit the accelerator again. Hit that accelerator. Go, go, go. Get up to 300 and something. And we are flying. 305. Yes. That was beautiful. We're actually only in 13th now. Yeah, that, that second pit was, was not as helpful as I thought it would be. I thought we'd get a lot better speed, a lot better handling. But all it did was really push us out of the running. Um, it looks like a lot of people... A lot of people ran out of gas or blew a tire. I'm shocked that Phantom, Phantom's down to nothing, and he's somehow managing to stay on, on the course. So, yep, Phantom ended up making the right decision. Almost ran out of fuel, almost ran out of tires, but he wins the race. Frey right behind, and then uh, we got the trackdaymanager.com, Shutter Racing, Shell, Helix. Uh, we did pretty good. I mean, honestly, ninth. I'm okay with ninth. Let's see if we can pass this guy on, on the last minute. Yes! Okay, 8th. I'm okay with 8th. Do not pass me. You are not allowed to pass. So I gotta do better pit management. That's basically what I need to learn in this game. How to pit more efficiently, how to, you know, time my, my, when I pit and everything. That, that needs to happen. So, cool. So you can see a little, a little race summary up here. You can see, uh, what kind of car he was running, what his best lap time was compared to yours top speed see he was his top speed was 320 mine was only 305 i'm guessing he has some upgrades that i do not have looks like we placed so we got 1250 for getting fifth place we got 50 xp points that's good we got a, we got a net of 925 so we can return to the garage now that went fairly well i'm i'm pretty happy with how that went um so yeah let's take a look at some of the other features of the game and that's basically what the game plays like oh we have another sponsor so we, we just get these sponsors, by the way, and we keep adding their logos to our car. And this will give us a good chance to show that off. And then we can see the latest race report. Look, Phantom Motors got all of this stuff. He is just totally rocking it. 
Good show on, on you, sir. That was That's very impressive. Um, so we can go to the upgrade shop here. We can actually look at different upgrades. The uh, ECU, uh, if we click on ECU, we can see the next upgrade costs like 5000 We can look at the rear wing, cooling. I really want better cooling. Body, compression, curves. Oh, we have the upgraded version. Why don't we use that? Why, why do we have the non-upgraded version? So we already had the upgraded Power Premium Curves, and we weren't using it. That's that's good to know. Thank you, game, for letting me know about that. We also have stop brakes and light brakes. I'm guessing light brakes looks like has better braking power. We should put that on there. Oh, nope, that's a purchase. So that's something we can purchase. So, so that, yeah, you can see it's going to cost me $24.99. I just barely have that. But I don't want that because I really want cooling. This would get us better handling, and I do need better handling, but for now, let's not worry about it. Um, and then we also have the paint area, the customized area. So you can, we, we currently have our car looking like this. But we could go down and we could, like, choose different designs for our car. And what I had done is I'd use this one and I'd, I'd change the color. Actually, this one, I'd change the colors. But you can, if you want flames, you can have flames. You can have whatever you want. You can have all kinds of weird stuff. So let's take, take a look at the flames real quick. So you can go to the paint. And you choose like the base color of your car. So if you wanted to have like a, a bright pink car with sparkles, and then a decal that it's like bright yellow, or or perhaps bright pink. Actually, no, bright yellow. Too much, or like black. Hey, that that doesn't look too too bad at all, actually. And then the wing sides, you can you can give different wing sides, or you can use pink, or you can use yellow, you can use white. You can do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. And you can also change the glossy. So if this is all the way down here, it's not as shiny. If it's all the way up here, you can see it, it kind of glows like glass. And that's really cool looking. Um, so if we had white, I mean, look look at that. That looks sweet. And then you can do, do the uh, sponsor. So you, you can put your sponsors anywhere on your car. So if I want, if I didn't want this here, I could take that off and take that off. I can take all my sponsors off. But to uh, get money from your sponsors, you have to have them on your car. So we need to put in, we got... We can put on up to six here. So I'm just going to put like Zamp was my first one. So I'm going to go ahead and put Zamp on there and uh, put Zamp on the side. That's our primary sponsor. Then we got Torzov has been with us for a while. Uh, that's that's Zamp. I don't, want, I don't want that one. I want this one, Torzov. We got we can get this and put it on the front and put this and, and say, hey, he's a, little, he's a, that's a cool looking guy there actually. How about small right there? That looks pretty cool. And then we got the D2 Motorsports, and you choose different styles. I'm just going to put, like, one here and, like, maybe one uh, in the front here. Maybe I'll move that one to, like, right there. See, and now we're all sponsored up. So if I go home, oh, yeah, apply changes, sure. So if I go home, this is what our car looks like. I just totally customized and changed up our car and our look and everything. Uh, now we have objectives, but this is kind of like the RPG portion of the game. Like I said, it's an MMO, RPG, racing, strategy, simulation, management thing. It's it's everything. Just, you know, just every, every little genre you can think of for a video game, just put them all together. That's basically what this game is. Um, so we won a medal. So with Zamp's objectives are fulfilled. D2 Racing wants us to finish 14th or better. I think we can do that. And then Torshoff, uh, Bill Rex Fist wants us to win fastest zone medal so we have to have one zone that's faster than everyone else so there you go that is basically um most of the game we got <laughs> most of the game we have experience we have a uh, cash we have a shop if we want to buy other cars looks like there's currently two available the raptor and the avalanche more to be added later it gives you all their statistics their torque acceleration all that all if you're a numbers person this is all the numbers you need we also have sponsorships so we can see all the sponsorship stuff you can see all the requirements that they have for for basically you know what you need to do ta-da and then we also have the overview you can see good clean gamers jalindo the driver's name is jalindo jalindo yes that's right it is my first and my last name they call me jj and uh, i played nine races and i did not finish 44 percent of them yes go me uh, it looks like we can also upgrade our skills. So here's, we got handling, we got reaction, we got perception, we have pit crew specialist, 
we have fuel per crew fuel and we have pit crew wheels so i'm going to go I, I have a a lot of trouble with driving uh handling i have a lot of trouble with driving actually that's true and uh this one reads surroundings during the race allows better better read opponents when blocking or tailing so this is for blocking or tailing and better at applying brakes when cornering this is for uh better at avoiding accidents faster when starting a race and out of pit stops this one is how well the the car driver corners and overtakes so we're gonna we're gonna put a ton of points into into the into the the handling on here because that's really important and we're just gonna we're, we're gonna fill up that star because that's really super duper important um so yeah that is basically the game uh like i said the links will be below in the description if you're interested in seeing more seeing the trailer seeing the store page seeing their website all that stuff feel free to click the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this thank you so much for watching and remember keep it clean